Hey everyone, it's Rod from Big Wheelies E-Bike Adventures. Uh, we're here today, it's the first time we're going to take a ride on our Aventon Adventure. It's a hard name to say, but it's a great new bike in our fleet. Uh, it's the 26 inch by four inch fat wheel version. Uh, it's the step through model, which makes getting on and off a lot easier. Um, has a Bafang hub motor, which is a little bit different than some of the other uh, e-bikes we have in the fleet. Uh, and we'll go through some of the other details as we take it for a ride. I like this, this green color a whole lot. I think it's really sharp. Uh, we have some pictures of uh, taking it out of the box a couple days ago and assembling it. And we'll uh, be sure and share those on the video also. Um, it's fully charged, ready to go. You do have to turn it on on the battery. And then, of course, the power button here on, on the handlebars, as most e-bikes has, has a real nice color display. It also has an app uh, which connects to, uh, to your cell phone to keep track of uh, things uh, as you as you venture out we had added the racks these were these were extra and optional uh, but you like the front rack a whole lot of course most e-bikes have a back rack which you can then accessorize even more um, with, with what you choose there are just a few more things i want to highlight before we hit the road as noted before the bike has a 750 watt bafang motor coupled with a 720 high capacity integrated battery we'll test it out shortly but i think this combination should make for a really speedy ride it has Shimano gears, front suspension, front and rear fenders, and integrated lights. The, the front light is small but powerful, and the rear brake light is housed on the left side of the frame, so it's visible to oncoming traffic when on the road. The cables are also neatly contained. The thing we noticed right away when we uh, pulled the bike out of the box was the solid construction of the frame. It's also very good looking. The seat is comfortable, and the included kickstand is sturdy. The Adventure has a backlit multicolor display and a downloadable Bluetooth app. Here you can see how we are easily pairing the bike to the app on our phone. The Adventure is shipped as a Class 2 e-bike with a 20 miles per hour limiter. It can, however, be changed to a Class 3 e-bike through the app. We haven't done that for this first ride, but you can be sure we'll give that a try later on. This is our first first ride out with our Aventon Aventure, uh, one of our new e-bikes in our Big Wheelies e-bike fleet. Fleet. This is the 26 inch, uh, 4 inch wide fat tire version. We're just on uh, pavement here now. Uh, we're in central Pennsylvania. This is This is Old Route 30, or the Lincoln Highway, as it was known uh, back, you know, in history. Our destination today is we're going out to the Fort Loudon Fort Site. Uh, so it's only a couple miles here. I spend a little bit of time on this street, which is Old Route 30, the Lincoln Highway, or Main Street Fort Loudon, and then we'll get out to more of a highway for just a couple hundred yards before we get to the uh, work site road. We are tackling a nice little hill. I have upped my uh, assist a little bit. I'm on level three assist now. So I have to pedal a little bit, but I'll uh, step it up even more as we get to the top of this hill. Here's level four. I'm not pedaling any faster. In fact, it's easier. And we're going up this hill really nicely. Now we're just cruising comfortably. It's flat, maybe a little bit downhill. Uh, I've got, I'm in the highest gear and I'm on pedal assist four or, or power assist four and I'm just barely pedaling at all. I'm uh, going about 17 miles per hour. Again, on a straight, straight road here. As we come to the point where uh, the old Main Street, Fort Loudon meets, uh, meets Route 30 and we'll travel about 100 yards up, up the road here and turn right on to the road where the fort is. Okay, now we're out on, uh, we call it the highway, it's still a two, two lane road, uh, but it's the bypass section and the actual uh, Route 30. As you see, it is a bike uh, friendly path. It has a fairly wide shoulder here, and uh, motorists are asked to uh, share, the, share the road nicely. There's the bicycle sign, and you'll see the marquee for uh, historic Fort Loudon 1756 right up here on our right, it's actually called Brooklyn Road. We're gonna take a right on and head back. That's a slight downhill uh, to the reconstructed fort. 
The Aventon A Venture is just cruising now, about almost 20 miles per hour. No pedaling, no pedal assist. Uh, just going down this fragile hill toward the uh, historic Fort Lake Fort Lauderdale. As you see in front of us is the reconstructed historic Fort Loudon. 1756. You can certainly research the history on, on that colonial period and the, uh, the pre-revolutionary war skirmishes that took place here. We're not going to spend a lot of time here today. Um, it is hunting season here in Pennsylvania and so there's a private hunting on this property. Uh, so we're going to take a quick loop in and head back to head back to our house. We may do additional, may do additional uh, videos on the fort later with a little more time spent here but you can see right ahead of me is the reconstructed fort site and the house and museum and gift shop and the placards of, of the site but again because it's this activity here today we're not going to spend a whole lot of time and the true uh, you know goal of today was to test out our new e-bike the Aventon Aventure now this is what I talked about before we're going to head back up a gradual hill uh, I'm going to pedal this one and certainly not hard but I'm in high gear so like any other bike you would typically gear down so I'll do that a little bit to make my pedaling a little easier and again that's like you would do on any kind of bike as you're entering a hill and then this uh this Abington Adventure is a, is a rocket it's really fast um, as I start to do the pedal assist I'll show you that as we go up this long gradual hill it also has a throttle uh, which I have not used yet on this trip was another option for uh, for hard areas or for real steep hills all of a sudden you need help with. Okay, I'm on gear five, normal gear five, uh, power assist one. I told you I'd show you the throttle. I'll do that right now. So I'm going to stop pedaling. And here we go. I haven't pedaled this whole time. And that's a cool feature. Uh, that does drain the battery a good bit so i will use my more traditional e-bike feature and power up so now i'm at power assist four because i can do power assist four i can put the higher gears still barely pedaling but the power assist really helps out with this long gradual hill it's like there's no hill at all and we're back out on route 30 uh, headed west on route 30 back to our, our, our house we're gonna bear right here was the road goes on what is Main Street Fort Loudon uh, which is where we live up one one gradual hill down over the top and we're home again you can see this is kind of a gradual little hill I'm on power assist four still going almost 16 miles per hour with little effort uh, from the pedal standpoint I'm geared up pretty high in traditional gears but again this uh, this handles this comfortably and uh, kind of makes the hills go away. I think this Bafang motor in this Abington Adventure, uh, it's really fast, it's really powerful. It makes cruising at a uh, 20 miles per hour here on the highway just really easy. Uh, it's not a long trip today for us, but certainly gives a good idea what this bike could do uh, as a commuter bike uh, or, or any kind of an off-road bike too. It does have the fat tires. This is the first ride, so we're and down that hill over 30 miles per hour. I won't push it too hard. We have to go back and make sure everything's adjusted properly and tighten up anything that we need to have, uh, you know, adjusted after this first ride. We just built it a couple days ago, and this is our first, our first time we've had the Abington out. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our Big Wheelies e-bike adventure video. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. And please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. See you soon.